Hunting or banditry, we'll need to move camp if we let them live. Look, we didn't come here to be trouble. We just found a cave. Yes, a they cave. They are the same with outfit. With ruins like I've never seen. We thought there might be, uh... Treasure? So you're more akin to thieves than actual bandits. But I... Uh, I have proof. Here. We found this just inside the entrance. The stone has some carvings. Is this elvish? Written elvish? There's there's more in the ruins. We didn't get very far in though. Come. I've seen something similar on the keeper's scrolls. And this is all you found? Why didn't you look for more? There was a demon. It was huge with black eyes. Thank the Maker we were able to outrun it. Ooh. A demon. Where is this cave? Just off the west, I think. There's a cave in the rock face and a huge hole just inside. Well, do you trust them? Shall we let them go? Not to try them all us. You frighten them enough, they won't bother us. Come along then, Shems. Don't come back until we Dalish have moved on. Of course. Thank you. Thank you. Well, shall we see if there's any truth to this story? Let's These take a look. make me curious. I have never played an elf in this game. I know we just got into it the other day, but I kind of I wanted to make some changes. I did. Keep, her name's Mazaquir. Because she's. Queer. You might be interested in these carvings, but let's see if there's anything Ooh. more before we get excited. Besides, we're I already here. I slept most of the day because I felt now so they gross. Said it was to the west. Spurs Pass. This is gonna make it like a whole new game, huh? flowers from before. Can't really go this way, can I? No. Uh oh, I did something or other. Oh god. <laughs> Be awful. There's one more thing to worry about. A dead holla. No creature is more revered by the Dalish than the holla. No other animal has a god of its own. These white stags are much larger than ordinary deer. And the Dalish holla keepers carve their antlers as they grow. Making them curve into intricate designs. Hello, my god, how are you today? Mm. In ancient times, these stags bore elven knights into combat, but since the fall of the Dales, they are used less as mounts and more to pull the Aravels. Oh, wow, that sucks. How are you doing today, friend? Common arrows, I guess, there's plenty of. On it. The Priscillian Forest. There's a... Okay. I 
fill the codex as you go, huh? There are places in the Brazilian forest where the veil is so thin, the difference between awake and dreaming affects to nothing. In one such place, a wood shaper was bored. Wow. I slept all day. And I'm still tired. Uh, I still have a headache, but I at least don't feel nauseous as much anymore. Hmm. Under such unfortunate stars that his mother named him Abelas, which means sorrow. And he lived up to his name. He could keep no apprentices, lost his stock of bows and mishap after mishap, until finally he had nothing. The rest of the clan began to fear that his ill luck would harm them too, and whispered among themselves of casting him out. Why is his name familiar, Abelas? Abelas heard them and resolved to change his luck, so went into the forest alone to seek a suitable tree from which to make bows. At last he spied a young rowan growing beside a stream. He drew his axe, and the tree cried out in fear, begging to be spared. But Abella said, If I do not take your life, mine will surely end. And with two strokes, he felled the tree. From the tree, he made the finest three bows he had ever crafted. Pleased, Abellus returned to camp and gave his bows to the hunters at once. By nightfall, however, the camp was in an uproar. The hunters had returned with braces of hairs, which then cut open revealed only worms and sawdust. Ooh. The elder said it was a sign that the hunters had robbed some spirit of its host, for it is well known that spirits do not go about the waking world on their own, but inhabit other creatures' body. The elder worked a charm to banish the spirit back to the fade, and the clan went to sleep hungry. The next day, the hunters brought back a doe, and again the beast fled sawdust. Now the clan began to fear the spirit would starve them, and wondered what they had done to deserve it. Abelos came forward then and told him of the rowan tree, and the elder considered for a long time before declaring that they must replace what Abelis had taken from the spirit. So he sent the hunters to dig up a rowan sapling and bring it living to the camp. There, the elder ordered the sapling planted and appealed to the spirit for forgiveness. There was a terrible sound then, as if the whole forest were crying out in protest. Darkness fell upon the camp, and though it was just past midday, and when the darkness passed, a rowan grove every tree bearing the frozen face of a terrified elf, stood where the camp had been. Wow, from then on it was forbidden in every clan to cut living trees in the Brazilian forest. The spirits know nothing of forgiveness. Oh, shit. Turn them all to trees. Yikes. Don't fuck around with the spirits, y'all. Oh! That was another yawn. This is definitely going to be like an entirely new game, since I've never played this one before. As you wish. Oh, great. This must be the cave. I don't recall seeing this before, do you? No, and that worries me. We should be wary. Always the careful one. Fine. But I'm not running back until I know there's something worth making a fuss over. Come on, let's at least see what's there. How dangerous could it be? Oh, famous last words. I mean, all the brambles around should be a clue. It looks like the Shem was telling the truth. These ruins look more human than elven. But why was there elven shit in it? What's in the cocoon? Ew. I hear something creepy. It sounds real creepy down here. How about you? I don't like that. I don't like spiders dropping down. Gets me every time. Let's get started. On it. Well, fuck. Bone pile. Yeah, they always creep me out. How you doing, Vino? This should be easy enough.
Let's get started. So these mysterious ruins appeared out of nowhere. That guy doesn't look nice. Oh right, there's a mod for the games? What do you mean so you could drop items? What are some mods you recommend for this game? What even is this game? Dragon Age Ultimate Edition. All you can do is uh, sell things that got annoying. <laughs> Abusive Ninja, what's up? I mean, you can drop items uh, and destroy them. You have to like drag it out the window and it's like, do you want to destroy this item? And I'm like, sure. I love how when you click popular of all time, the first one's like, better sex. Great. Abuse of Ninja, Whew. a lot happening. How are you? Did you come over here to tell me that I'm whack? I didn't go to work today. I felt so gross. And I slept all day and I still feel gross. What is this? If you have, like, alright, so if I look best mods for Dragon Age Origins, maybe it'll give me a list. <laughs> Pretty much. Good to see you. I knew there was an auto loot one. Great. I would love that. What have you been up to lately? Let's download that one. Hopefully this won't take too long. And then it says improved atmosphere.
the Nudge Dragon Age redesign. So let's look at Improved Atmosphere. We will do that. Download this. Great. Age re what redesigned. This is supposed to make it look a little more pretty, I suppose. That's a manual download. Bummer. You've been working. Hopefully staying safe. Are there any other Dragon Age mods that you all love? Dragon Age Origins. Like if we sort it by endorsements. Wolf and the no helmet hack, that would be a good one. I guess I should change the tab on here and be like, mods. Modded. Yeah, I know you do, like, welding and stuff, right? So that's going to be a lot. As long as you stay safe, that's what's important. Because I don't know what I would do if you didn't come around here and tell me that I'm whack every once in a while. I feel like I'd really be at a loss. The stream wouldn't be the same without it, Abusive Ninja. Ugh, I feel like I still have a sore throat, kind of. Back. Ooh, let's do this gift guide. That's going to be helpful. And we're going to install all of those. Boop, boop. And then what else? Why are you going to change your name again? What's wrong with the name you got? I like it. How, I'm, I got to know you, you know. How else am I going to know who you are? You just like confusing me. That's whack. We can respec. There's a respec thing. This 
this might be better. <laughs> Expanded inventory. I feel like that's a must. Because you want to? All right, I get it. Do what you want. Let me save it here. Needs elven ruins. And then I think maybe that's it for mods for now, you think? Unless y'all have any uh, recommendations for the best Dragon Age mods. I've never played this game modded before. I think I might do the respec one. And that might be a good one. Wow, they really made naked dwarves. I did not need to see that today. That was dwarf bean. That was penis. I didn't need to see penis today like that, not that one. <laughs> Where's the respec one? Character respec. Great. And that's it. We'll just download this one. Uh, it's going to be purpose. If I can't do it, be purpose 420. If not that, then some random number. Got you. Let me exit this. Let me install these mods and see how they're going to work out. And then let's enable them. Purpose. Porpoise. Michael, how's your day going? Dragon Age redesigned, and then let's do this one. Vortex makes dealing with mods really easy. Oh, how, how'd that go? I was supposed to take one yesterday, but I chicken out. Because I had a sore throat and, oof, and a headache, and then today I felt nauseous and dizzy, and I still kind of have a sore throat. Maybe I should have taken the test. It's negative? Good. Well, that's good. I'm glad to hear Alright, let me start up the game with mods. This is exciting. I did download a graphic mod called Dragon Age Redesigned. So let's see how this works. Wait, I clicked launch. the game. Is that going to work? Do I have to run it from Vortex for it to like do its thing? Because it's kind of not liking that. Oh 
close all of those windows. Abusive Ninja, I started my own business. Which is kind of nice. Why won't that work from here? Alright, let's see where the mod folder is. I guess we'll find out if the mods work. Does it? You play this game a lot? Oh, my Fallout 76 camp. that sound. How do I know if the mods work? Trap. I guess we'll find out if auto loot works. <laughs> Go below my on the trap anyway. I knew what was happening as soon as I saw these cocoons. What the fuck is this? its own built-in mod installer. So I have to install DAO Mod Manager. Ugh. So much work. What's up, Squalls? How are you doing? this then and let's see if we can get it to work that way whoops let's see how this works my files here. Great. Let's do that. Oh no, it doesn't like that at all. So then let's go to my own mod 
It always turns into a whole problem solving thing, doesn't it? extract there. Great. That's a lot. Oh yeah? What you gonna do with it? Storage? too many windows open. So if this could work, I'm gonna try to give back to my work some things they might want back because it's expensive. Yeah, well, I mean, they keep up in the budget for it. Uh, donate to your fam then storage, great. I'm trying to figure out how mods work for this game. put them in the override folder. Great. So I want to know where the mods I downloaded, where are you? But it all goes in the override folder, all right? So I think I can do that. Let's copy this here. see if it works that way because I'd really love to play this game I use Vortex too but apparently um, that's not working out for me here because then when I go to launch it from Vortex it's like nah Because apparently they're all installed and enabled this way.
let's extract these two. Sorry. An extract here. Let's see if that works. Vortex is great, but maybe this game is so old, it's just like, not having it. Oh god, my body wants to go back to bed. mods from here, huh? Let's see how this works. I don't want to fall down there. Right. Shit. Insufficient skill? Well, that sucks. On it. Trap! This should be easy enough. Trap! That was different, so maybe the mod worked. Time for some fun! Oh, so I just have to right. click on it. Great. Okay, I have working mods now. Well, at least one of them is working. Trap! Shit. Lots of traps down here, huh? Oh, I think I'm accidentally ran all the way around in a big circle. gain a level somehow. Shit, maybe I can go here and then to the left. It's worn, but it looks vaguely familiar. Back when our people lived in our land, statues like these honored the creators. When the Shems enslaved us, much of that lore was lost. This looks like human architecture, but 
the statue of our people. Can these ruins date back to the time of our Latin? It's interesting. So much of our past is lost to us. Oof, that's what happens when humans get involved. I'd it. never have guessed ancient. We got a bad track record. With humans. So, did we all used to just get along? Can I open the door from this side? Nope, still locked. Ah, shit. Show me what you've got. Ah, fuck. I step right on that trap. What's this button do? 30 fighting. my level up so maybe now I can do I can get more uh, lock picking that's stealing damn I can't it requires level four shit Well, I need more dexterity. Do I not have enough? What's this big mirror? I kind of remember this. It looks familiar. You aren't going to leave without taking a closer look at the mirror, are you? No, I was gonna get that chest. I don't trust it, and neither should you. It sat here for who knows how many centuries. What could be so dangerous? Oh boy. Don't worry, I won't break it. Dang, my head I hurts. What this writing is for? Maybe this isn't. Hey, did you see that? I think something moved inside the mirror. Isn't it a portal? Get away from it, Tamlin. Hold on, I just want to know what it is. Don't you see it? There it is again. Can you feel that? I think it knows we're here. I just need to take a closer look. No, you need to stay back. Oh my god. It's showing me places. I can see some kind of city. Underground. And there's a great blackness. <laughs> Zombie! Help! I can't run away! That's horrifying. Is that mirror that, that goes into the fade? Fuck. Shit. Shit, fuck. Can you hear me? Duncan! I'm very sorry. What are you sorry for? What happened? I feel like I want some soup. You're awake. You've the god's own luck, Lethalon. You're back at camp. Everyone is worried sick about you. How do you feel? How did I get here? Hashem brought you back two days ago. I've been here for two days? He was a gray warden and appeared out of nowhere with you slung over his shoulder. You were delirious with fever. He said that he found you outside a cave in the forest, unconscious and alone. 
He left you here and ran off again. The Keeper's been using the old magic to heal you. Old magic? I need to talk to the Keeper right away. Is anyone looking for Tamlin? Of course. Most of the hunters are off looking for him right now. But the Keeper wanted to talk to you as soon as you awoke. Stay here. I'll get her. Thank you for making me not go to her. It's like freezing in here for some reason. Oh, God. I see you are awake, darling. Oh, my God. Is it Flemeth? It's fortunate Duncan no. found you when he did. I know not what dark power held you, but it nearly bled the life from you. Wow. It was difficult even for my magic to keep you alive. I kept telling Tamlin that we should have come back. That's true, I did, but uh, Duncan, is that the one who brought yes. me here? He introduced himself as a Grey Warden. Duncan thought there may have been darkspawn creatures inside the cave. Is that true? All I remember was this mirror. A mirror. And it caused all this. I have never heard of such a thing in all the lore we have collected. Oh, I was hoping for answers when you woke. But there are only more questions. And Tamlin remains missing. Oof. He is more important than any lore in these ruins. If he is as sick as you were, his condition is grave. Duncan returned to the cave to search for Darkspawn. But we cannot rely on him to look for Tamlin as well. We must go ourselves. I and told quickly. Tamlin not to go Do near you it. Feel well enough to show us the way, darling. Without you, we will not find it. I'm up to it. I am relieved to hear it. I am ordering the clan to pack the camp so we can go north. Take Meryl with you to the cave. Find Tamlin Meryl? if you can, but that do it familiar. swiftly. Sorry, Berlin. I can't help it. I feel gross today. I slept all day. But I want to order some soup from the ramen spot. I'm going to see if they're open. I mean, I think they're open. I'm just like, I'm craving some soup. Surprise, motherfucker. <gasps> a subscription. And Terry the Tactical Unicorn, hello. Two things. Heart eyes, motherfucker. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. I'm just trying to um, figure out some food. How's it going today? Alright, we're gonna take, uh, are you not interested in ruins in the mirror? It's, yeah, so quickly, it is good. The Tamlin's it light is hangs in the balance. I'm trying to order me some ramen noodles because I feel so gross and I feel like they might help me feel better. Oh yeah, I can do that. Is it rainy where you are? Not so much. It was a little bit rainy here today, but... Rain can mess up your joints or the humidity or something. Or that barometric pressure. Um, I need more equipment before Master I Master Island can help you. Go to him and ask to see his stock. This is the place that I want, but they don't have their menu online. They're like right around the corner. You hate humid and warm? Oh, thank you for the host, Berlin. Like I came home, I went to work and I felt so sick. Like I was just like really nauseous and blessed. So I came home and I slept. I think that's the one I want, the spicy miso. Maybe I could get extra nudes. Mm. What are y'all eating tonight? Three 
putting screws in your back. Oof. Oh, that sounds like not cute. <laughs> you feel the but you're the the rain uh, the rain sensor. You don't know what you're eating. I'm curious about these dark spawn you mentioned. I'm gonna place my order for pickup. Ooh, what kind of pizza? Hi, can I place an order for pickup, please? Thank you. Ooh, I had that yesterday. But I threw pepperoni and like some extra cheese on it. And it was good. On Tamlin's life is at stake? Very well. He seemed honorable, and his care for your safety speaks well of him. I trust like a big frozen pizza. Yeah, if you have teenagers, they'll do that. My son could probably eat a whole like large pizza on his own. Not quite, darling. Hi. After they defeated the dark spawn long ago. Okay, can I have uh, an order of the spicy miso, please? And um, I will also do um, the uh, the karaje, please. And that should do it. Perfect. Thank you so much. All right. Bye bye. She's like, 15 minutes, cash only. I'm like, I know they're cash only. They're really good, though. They're 10, 8, and 6. Oh. Mine are, um, how old are my kids? Are my kids in this channel today? My son just turned 14, and my daughter's going to be, no, that's a lie. My son just turned 15, and my daughter's going to be 14 in August. Rubber Ducky, Sina, how are you, my dear? Are the best and most noble of all races, Dalen. What command is Few that? can achieve their standards. How did he know where to bring me? He said he had been looking for our clan and had a hint of our whereabouts. As I said, you were fortunate. It is possible he's How does Duncan kind of seek people out? Dalish have joined the Grey Wardens before? Indeed. The Grey Wardens once consisted of the best from all races. The Coffin I know Dance? Of no Dalish joining them since the days of the Darkspawn Wars, however. What if he asked for one now? It would be a great honor, though I don't know why any Dalish would choose such a life. Regardless, he has not asked. Uh, he's gonna. Then do not tarry. Find Tamlin quickly. I'm curious about the Darkspawn. Remember that Tamlin needs your help. He does. Um. Hmm. The old tomes say darkspawn come in as many varieties as surface creatures. They also that say that many darkspawn are seen only during what the humans call a blight. Perhaps your bear monster was one of those. All right, I have no more then questions. Then do not tarry. Find Tamlin quickly. I will. All right, goodbye, Keeper. I'm glad we got these mods working. This should be easy Scroll. enough. Great. Right. Not possible to pick. Codex information. I miss Tamlin. I want to So you have returned to us, Dalen. I have. We are grateful you're whole and well. Oh, okay. Glad to be here as well, Harren. So you should be. What were you two thinking, wandering into that cave without first coming to tell the Keeper? 
And Tamlin insisted we go inside. Tamlin's idea. And you've no mind of your own. Well, I couldn't let I him go by himself. Your youth can be forgiven. Sadly, Tamlin pays the price. Losing you would be a terrible crime, Dalen. You belong to more than just yourself. Or do you not remember? What do you mean? Let us tell these children of the fall of the Dales. You can honor me by sharing in the telling. Certainly. Come then. Help me as I go along. Okay. Children, hear of the fall Let's of the Dales. Teach some kiddos. Hear the tale of what makes you Dalish. Would you care to begin, Dalen? Hmm. It starts with a mommy and a daddy elf. Oh my god. Long ago we were slaves to the humans. Yes. Slaves to a terrible empire. The humans built on the darkest magic. When it fell, we became free. Their we built a failed. homeland in the Dales. Worshipping the creators. And rebuilding the culture and history we lost in our long years of slavery. Oh. If you've ever lost your boat, it was a lot like that. No, it wasn't. <laughs> but the humans wouldn't let us they be. They were resentful. Because we would not worship their gods. And because we put our people first. Over the years, their nations grew cold toward the Dales. In their eyes, we were blasphemers and cruel tyrants. The hands are so weird in this game. Old games, though. The humans declared war on the Dales. And so the Dales fell. Oof. They took our lands and dispersed our people, forcing us to live in their cities and abandon our gods. But many of us refused to relinquish our ways. We instead chose to scatter to the winds, wandering the lands. We chose wandering the lands rather than the human rule. To survive hmm. and preserve our culture. The clans stay apart until the day the Elvenon have a homeland once more. We shall return the old ways to those who have lost them. I mean, there is something to be said for progress, we are the I guess. Dalish, keepers of the lost lore, walkers of the lonely path. It's so lost that they don't even know all their lore. We're the last, Elfana, and never again shall we submit. Thank you for your forbearance, Dalen. You remember both the tale and the oath of the Dales perfectly. I will let you get back to your tasks. I pray you find Tamlin quickly. Yeah, I'll go. Of course. May the gods guide your path, Dalen. Since I have to find Tamlin. But, uh, where's the... Let's see. Eldest of the Sun. What's that? It's similar to the symbol we found in the cave. There's Keeper. There's Fenerel. Island. That's who we're looking for. As you wish. of the craft. I'm glad you've recovered. Once we find Tamlin, we can concentrate on the journey northward. Okay. Thank you for the bow, Master Island. It is light and sturdy, much better than the one I made last year. You are more than welcome. My father made it and used it in battle against the Claim Tribes. The Claim Tribes? Who are them? It with honor. This is the same kind of outfit that the humans were wearing earlier. Uh, can I ask you for a bow as well, Master Island? One of my own crafting, perhaps? Sure. Yes, thank you. May not have a history, but you'll provide one for it soon enough, yes? Thanks. Let me see your wares. Of course. Take whatever you need. sell this. I have a short bow. I should put one of those on. Um, hmm. I can't afford any of this shit. Small dark spawn shield. Sell it. I guess we don't need these clan shields. Great. Oh, 
let's put this in here. Guess might as well put the helmet on. And we'll put on this longbow. Aw, oh, the helmet mod's not working. Maybe it's when they only talk. And then I'll go get my food shortly. Ah, it's good you're well. You weren't here when Paul arrived, were you? I've heard of you. Everyone is talking about you and the other missing hunter. A Grey Warden brought you back here. He sure did. You're not Dalish, are you? That obvious, is it? I just found your camp a couple of days ago. A lucky thing. I heard rumors in a nearby human village that a Dalish camp was close, and I hoped to find your hunters in the forest. Feels like these you were are fortunate swollen. I didn't shoot you, Paul. I thought you were a ship oh. and a bandit at that. Items You're not getting the first city bit on. To join his people. I'm sure you'll find life among us more satisfying than with the Shems, if no less harsh. In the alienage, we hear terrible stories about the Dalish. The alienage. Only the parts where we sacrifice young elves to the gods that we've proved shall useful and the clan will be your home. Oh, you got nothing to worry about, Thank Paul. You. The clan has been very kind and welcoming. I never expected it to be like this. I'm training Paul. He'll have to learn how to handle that bow quickly. Looks like it. What's this? I gotta go around. This game was Sparky's request, and I'm so glad I'm come back to it. That shaman was a Grey Warden. They're right. supposed to be great warriors. The note is this way. The scroll's up there. How do I get up there? Who's leaving these scrolls just lying around? There's Meryl. I remember her from later in the game, I think. Note. Aravels. Is Tamlin dead? It's Everybody good to says see he's you not coming back. We feared you would perish. I heard the keeper was coming down. No, she's got no right. head. The elven goddess guides navigation. Oh. Marin. Anathara, it's good to see you recovered. Mm, how are the Hala faring? They fare well. The Keeper called for the clan to move on, and they will be ready to take us. One is heavy with calf, but it shouldn't be a problem. May I ask of Tamlin's fate? Some say the clan will leave before we find him. No, we should be able to find him. We're gonna find him, don't worry. The Hala mourn our fallen. No sound is more heart-wrenching than their mourning cry. At least they won't be crying over you. They are quite fond of you. Well, that's nice of them. They're your friends then? They're more friends than servants. We do not dominate them as the Shenmen do their horses and dogs. Ah. At any rate, I do not envy the Keeper's decision. I'll pray for Tamlin's safe return. Thanks. Huntress? It's good to see you healthy. Why would the keep you feared you would have so good? How could Tamlin be lost? He knows this area well. Can't get in that chest yet. Oh, here's another scroll. As you wish. Ben Harrell. On it. Dedicated to the Elven Wolf God. Hmm. Is Solas in this game? I can't remember. Alright. Let me go get my food then. And I shall be ooh, right back. 
shouldn't be longer than like five minutes.
Squalls, I got reminded of you out there, and I'll tell you why. I go into this ramen shop to pick up my order and tell me why they are playing Eyes on Me <laughs> from Final Fantasy VIII. That was funny. Alrighty. Whoa, Meryl's naked. Whoa, whoa. Meryl, it's it, it's such an oddly specific song and I instantly knew it because I used to love it back in the day. Whoa, what's going on with Meryl? Is it? Is it good? I mean, it's cute. What's up with Meryl, guys? Why is she like this? The keeper told me I'm to accompany you back to those caves. As her apprentice, I may see something you missed. But our main objective is to find Tamlin, of course. We must make haste. He may not have much time. Oh, this is gonna be good. I need to put this down. I'm sorry I feel gross today. That was really funny. What what of a most like random song? And is it just because it's like a Japanese singer? And this is like a traditional Japanese ramen house? I don't know. <gasps> it spilled onto my leg. And it's very hot. This is what I wanted to avoid happening. But it definitely made me think of you and Renoa. Don't be that person though where it's like, it's our engagement song. Right. Aren't you worried about getting sick? A little, but the Keeper cured you. How dangerous could it be? Even if I get sick, finding Tamlin or something valuable will be worth it. How much did the Keeper tell you? you? my interest and my concern. You can explain the rest on the way. I don't recognize Meryl's voice, but, I mean, has she always been like this? How much of our lore do you know? Less than I'd like to. I know some of our old magic, as the Keeper does, and I'll know about these relics if I see them. The Keeper isn't sending me to collect anything, however. We're worried about Tamlin. This is gonna be real good. Oh. Let's head out now. And let us make haste while daylight lasts. I can't believe it's been two days. I can't believe she's naked still. Just nothing. Meryl stay with me? I suppose I should save it. Oh shit. Show me what you got. You had it coming. For the tail. Wow, so they're right here. Are those darkspawn? 
Those look like it. That would make sense. I've never seen anything like them. You can smell the evil on them. Where did they come from? Were they here before? What would Darkspawn have to do with our people? The stories say our Lathan fell long before the Darkspawn appeared. Well, we'll find out soon enough. Let's hope we don't find any more of these monsters. Before we go, are you alright? Were you hurt during the fight? I'm fine. It's just that you're quite pale. You look a bit feverish, in fact. Oh. What are you implying? Nothing. Forget I said anything. Let's go. Feverish already? Was I darkspawn poisoned? On it. Alright, this is exactly I where I came through before. Do you remember it being here? Maybe it belongs to the Shemlin who found me. You're probably right. Didn't he say he was headed back to the cave? If so, he's not here now. We've seen no sign of Tamlin. Maybe we should... Wait. Do you hear that? I did hear something. Exactly. The forest is too... still. Something's in the air. Something unnatural. Maybe it's those, uh... Perhaps we'll see more walking corpses. Would they come outside the cave? No. That would... not be good. No, it the wouldn't be. The sooner we find this cave and Tamlin, the sooner we can leave. Take us there quickly. I'm working on it, lady. As you wish. Look like goblins, really. Here we go. Great. Right. All right, this is that weird ass cave. Back to the scene. This should be easy enough. Codex updated. usually one dominant, huh? A commander. Directing or bullying the others in combat, really. It's akin to blood magic, oof. Elgar and the God of Vengeance. Baby bok choy is down. Hmm. I wish if you could click these and read it out loud to you. That would be great. Long ago, when time itself was young. See, I can't read and eat at the same time. Not read out loud and eat, rather. Chicken's real good. Hmm. 
the sun and the land. Loved Elgaran greatly for he is beautiful and clever. As a gift to Elgarnan, the land brought forth great birds and beasts and all manner of wonderful green things. Hmm. Wicked Harworks and grew jealous. Oh, let's play Shona's face upon all the creature the earth had created and burn them all to ashes. That's terrible. The pool of tears cried for the land and became the ocean. And the cracks in her body, the first rivers and streams. Elgarnon was furious at what his father had done and vowed vengeance. They wrestled for an eternity and eventually the sun grew weak while Elgarnon's rage was unabated. Wow. Eventually, Argonon threw the sun down from the sky and burned him, buried him in a deep abyss created by the land's sorrow. With the sun girl, the world was covered in shadow, and all that remained in the sky were the reminders of Elgarn's battle with his father. Drops of the sun's lifeblood, which twinkled and shimmered in the darkness. So that's how stars were born? Wow. As told by Gishrael, the keeper of the Ralph Raleferon clan of the Dalish elves. Interesting. Fen Harel, the dread wolf. I know him. There is precious little we know about Fen Harel. Because he didn't care about our people. Hmm. Elgarnon and Mithal created the world as we know it. I just got some ramen, you know. Just because I'm feeling gross and I needed something soupy. And I got some chicken, too. Sorry I'm all slurpy and gross. It is very yum. I love this spot. I'm very grateful to have a great ramen spot near me. Mmm, Sally's and Jean gave us fire and craft them, but Fen Harel kept himself and plotted the betrayal of all the gods. We know about Fen Harel a little bit. After the discussion of Arlathan, when the gods could no longer hear our prayers, it is said that Fen Harrell spent centuries in a far corner of the earth, giggling madly and hugging himself in glee. Jeez. There's not a high right among us who remembers these others. <clears throat> Only in dreams do we hear whisper their names. Rotten ones, gods of terror and malice, spite and pestilence. Yikes. Only Fen Harel could walk among both our gods and the Forgotten Ones. And that's how Fen Harel tricked them. Our gods saw him as a brother. I feel like I'm too full. I want to drink the broth though. Our gods saw him as their brother and they trusted him. When he said that they must keep the heavens while he arranged a truce. And the forgotten ones trusted him also when he said he would arrange for the defeat of our gods. 
<coughs> wow. I just inhaled it. And he would arrange for the feet of our gods. <clears throat> if only they would return to the abyss for a time. They trust the Fenrael. And all of them were betrayed. And Fenrael sealed them away so they could never walk among the people. Didn't Fenrael create the rift? I mean the veil. Mother of the Hala. Gilan Nain. Mmm. That's really good. I'm gonna put it away. So I don't slip in y'all's ears anymore. I'm sure you don't need that. To fill this water and then we'll continue. fulfilling. Came across a hunter she didn't know at his feet like a hawk shot through the heart. And you're to blame. Gilad Nain was filled with rage for the hawk along with the hare is an animal much beloved of Anduril. The hunter refused. He was unable to hunt, and his prey would dart out of sight, and his arrows would fly astray. He lured her away with lies and false words, and she believed it? He blinded her first and then bound her as one would bind a fresh kill, but because he was cursed, the hunter could not kill her. Instead, he left her for dead in the forest. Wow. She prayed to Elgarnan for vengeance, to Mother Mithal to protect her, but above all, she prayed to Andriel. Sent hairs and they chewed through the ropes of Anor, but Gilainan was still wounded and blind and could not find her way home. So Andriel turned her into a beautiful white deer, the first Hala. And she found her way back to her sisters and led them to the hunter, who was brought to justice. And since that day, the Hala have guided the people and have never led us astray. For they listened to the voice of Giline, Giline Nain. Ooh. June, god of the craft. This is going to be a lot of lore, it looks like, huh? We drank from streams and ate berries and nuts we could find. We did not hunt. For we had no bows. We wore nothing, for we had no knowledge of spinning or needlecraft. We shivered in the cold nights and went hungry through the winters when all the world was covered in ice and snow. That sucks. Then, Silas the Hearthkeeper came and gave us fire and taught us how to feed, with, feed it with wood. June taught us to fashion bows and arrows and knives so that we could hunt, and we learned to cook the flesh of the creatures we hunted. 
over Silas's fire. <clears throat> and people were no longer cold and hungry. On with the game. Alright, this is it, Meryl. This is it. So these are the ruins. Interesting. Those bodies weren't here before. They're definitely of human origin, yet elven artifacts are scattered amongst them. Nothing explains the monsters, though. But we must find Tamlin, or what's left of him. I can't imagine he's still alive with those creatures about. Maybe they took him hostage? I don't know. Still, even if he's here somewhere, we need to find his body. Let's just pray we're wrong. What's your weird ass hand? So these dead corpses weren't here before. Watch out for this trap. Show me what you've got! That means maybe, oh shit, the Grey Warden is down here. Next. <laughs> Next. On your guard. <laughs> Damn, my head hurts. Oh, fuck. This should be easy enough. There's an emissary. I should probably put a poultice here. Get him. This should be easy enough. Don't step in the middle. Right. There's Duncan. <clears throat> so you were the one fighting Darkspawn. I thought I heard combat. And you did nothing to come help? Found wandering the forest, aren't you? I'm surprised you have recovered. If you heard fighting, why didn't you help? I would have, had I not been battling them myself. Not all the kills here were yours, as you can see. My name is Duncan, and it's a pleasure to finally meet you. The last time we spoke, you were barely conscious. Yeah, what happened? I'm Atishan, Duncan of the Grey Wardens. I am Meryl, the Keeper's apprentice. Your keeper did not send you after me, did she? I told her I would be in no danger. We're looking out uh, for our brother Tamlin. So, you and your friend Tamlin both entered this cave, and you saw this mirror. Yes, Tamlin touched the mirror and I blacked out. I see. That's unfortunate. The Grey Wardens have seen artifacts like this mirror before. It is Tevinter in origin, Ooh. used for communication. Over That's time, cold. some of them simply break. They become filled with the same taint as the darkspawn. Tamlin's touch must have released it. It's what made you sick. And Tamlin too, I presume. So it's true, I had the darkspawn plague. You have it still. And it will infect others so long as this mirror exists. Your recovery is only temporary. I can sense the sickness in you. And it is spreading. Look inside yourself, and you will see. Then what should I do? First, we deal with the mirror. It is a pestilence and a threat. I don't think we should destroy it. I think there's a way we can recover it somehow.
It is done. Now let's leave this cursed place. I must speak with the Keeper immediately regarding your cure. We need to find Tamlin. Tamlin. How do you just destroy the mirror? I would dare more than that to stop <laughs> such a threat. What about Tamlin? There is nothing we can do. I'm still alive, he could be too. Let me be very clear. There is nothing you can do for him. He's been tainted for three days now, unaided. Through your Keeper's healing arts and your own willpower, you did not die. But Tamlin has no chance. Trust me when I say that he is gone. Now we should return. Won't there at least be a body? The Darkspawn would have taken it. Oof. Taken it where? You got what boots, huh? Darkspawn are evil creatures. And it's best to leave it at that. I'm sorry. What kind of boost did you get? Why don't you just tell me where the cure is? It's not that simple. I would tell you more, but I must first speak with your keeper. I'm not ready to give up the search If you just prefer, yet. I can wait outside while you look around. But I assure you, he will not be here. I suggest, however, leaving sooner rather than later. You are sick whether you feel it or not. And it does you no good to linger. Do you have to let it linger? I just want to look around to make As sure. As you wish. I will see you back at camp. Oh. How's that? How's that uh, tasting? Two levels up. I felt like at first it wasn't doing much, but I think it takes longer when the booze is soaked in food. There's that bear again. As you wish. Should be easy enough. Like a a short-lived trading relationship with the dwarf. Fruit wine. You had it coming. Oh, shit. I got arrowed. So that's, I guess, would have gone to the deep roads, huh? So if this was Tevinter in origin, the Tevinter mages and the uh, elves that lived down here were kind of friendly? Surroundings here. God damn it. Now let's 
not trigger more traps. They must have taken him through the mirror. I'm relieved you have returned, and I did not expect to see you again so soon, Duncan. I was not expecting to return so soon either, Keeper. Dare I ask of Tamlin? What did you find of him? If he was alive, the Darkspawn would have killed him. There... there were Darkspawn in the cave? Yes. But there is much to discuss, Keeper. <laughs> I have learned a great deal since I was last here. Let us speak privately within my Aravel then, Duncan. Meryl, warn the hunters. If Darkspawn are about, I want the clan prepared. Manuvin and Keeper, right away. Dalen, allow me some time to speak with Duncan. Is Seek Dalen my name? Later, and we can At least they're not camp. calling me Pup. Very well, Keeper. Tell Harin Pival what has occurred. He now has the sad task of preparing a service for the dead. Follow me, Duncan. I'm eager to hear what you have to say. That does not bode well. So you return with the Grey Warden, but without Tamlin. What happened, Dalen? Is he truly lost to us? Looks like it. The Grey Warden says he is, but Even I'm not sure. Even if he's sure. not, we must leave soon. Mm. To think I'd live to see this. It seems the will of the creators that I sing the dirge for those I held in my arms as babes. I think I know why our immortal ancestors would sleep. Sorry, guy. Swiftly do stars burn a path across the sky, hastening to place one last kiss upon your eye. Tenderly land enfolds you in slumber. Kind of looks like a funeral fire, huh? The rolling thunder. Dagger now sheathed. Bow no longer tense. During this last hour. Only silence. Uh, the Keeper wants me to tell you to prepare a service. <clears throat> of course. We've no body to return to the soil, but we shall still sing for Tamlin. The Creators must come to guide him to the beyond. Tell the Keeper. Isn't the beyond the fade? Be before the clan is ready to move on. Thank you, Harren. I ask only one thing, if I may. This Grey Warden. You have met him now, yes? Is he a good man? I don't know. I don't know him like that. He saved my life and is a friend to the clan. Interesting. What is... You should go and ask. Perhaps so. <clears throat> Did elves ever live in caves? I've never heard of such a thing. But in the days of ancient Arlathan, we lived free and spread far across the continent. We were as varied as the Shemlin, though fewer in number. Perhaps fewer some of us in, lived in caves then, but all knowledge from that era is lost. Well, let's learn more about now the history. That's something I rarely hear. Of course. Tell me about Arlathan. Ah, yes. The lost city. Before the Shemlin enslaved us, even before they came to this part of the world, our people lived in glorious Arlathan. Legends Where can say I find that? that our ancestors were immortal, <laughs> and we possessed magic the Shemlin could only dream of. Do you know books record our history? When the humans enslaved us, they took away our language, Oof. our history, and our immortality. We quickened to the pace of life and retained nothing of ourselves. We were slaves for so long that even when we became free, there was little for us to recover. If books still exist, I do not know of them. Damn. Humans are kind of trash, huh? 
What happened to the elves who didn't join the Daleks? They remain in human cities, forgetting all they once had. We call them flat ears, but they differ little from their Shemlin masters. A few may return, but we must accept that they know nothing of the lore or why we keep it. Do you think we'll find another homeland? We can hope to find a new home one day, where the Dalish and the Flat Ears will build a land greater even than Arlathan. Well, we shall teach the Flat Ears the lore they lost, and perhaps they will teach us to understand the Shemlin at last. That is the only way we shall truly live in peace. All right, why do Shems allow us to exist if they perhaps hate us they so have much? No choice. Dalish clans are scattered to the winds and rarely gather, which makes us difficult for any organized effort to destroy. And why bother? Okay. We have nothing they want. No land, no treasure. And we always move on, allowing no one to grow too angry with us. Some might see this as cowardly, but we are proud. We are the last, and we will survive. All right, I think that's all, thanks. <laughs> then I'm sure you have much to do. <clears throat> Unless you've other questions. Uh, what do you know about Darkspawn? Only that they eat living flesh and lurk in underground tunnels, once ruled by the Durgenlen, the dwarves. In the last blight long ago, the Grey Wardens all but wiped them out. Should they return, all races will shudder. I should go. Of course. May the gods guide your path, Dalen. I miss Tamlin. I want him to come home. He ain't coming home, kid. <laughs> this is a sad day. We mourn those passing into the field. Who's Fenerel? I'm so glad everyone made it back safely. Even if that human is back here. Your keeper and I have spoken, and we've come to an arrangement that concerns you. Uh -oh. My order is in need of help. You are in need of a cure. When I leave, I hope you will join me. You would make an excellent Grey Warden. I might to become a Grey Warden keeper. What does this have to do with my cure? Everything, I'm afraid. Oh. The dark spot taint courses through your veins. That you recovered at all is remarkable. But eventually the taint will sicken and kill you, or worse. Grey Wardens can prevent that, but it means joining us. Hmm. Will I be able to return to my clan? We do not know. <laughs> but we could not watch you suffer. The Grey Warden offers you a way to survive. This is not simply charity right. on my part. I would not offer this if I did not think you had the makings of a Grey Warden. Let me be clear. You will likely never return here. We go to fight the Darkspawn. A battle that will take us far from your class. This soon sounds like we need but to recruit a lot need you of them. And others like you. Um Alright, I'm well, I guess let's a great go. army of darkspawn gathers in the south. A new blight threatens the land. Hmm. We cannot outrun this storm. That Long sucks. ago, the Dalish agreed to aid the Grey Wardens against a blight should that day arrive. We must honor that agreement. It breaks my heart to send you away. As it would to watch you die slowly from this sickness. This is your duty and your salvation. All right, then I accept it. I welcome you to the Order. It is rare to have a Dalish amongst us, but they have always served with distinction. I know you'll do your clan proud, Dalen. Take this ring. It is your heritage. And will protect you against the darkness to come. Okay, a great. A valuable gift. So, are you ready to go? Yeah, I guess so. I'd like to stay for Tamlin's funeral. We have much ground to cover, but I cannot deny you that. Say your farewells. Then we must be off. Come then, Dalen. Before the creators guide you from us, let your clan embrace you one last time. Thanks. Thanks, Keeper Mom. Well, that no helmet mod is not working. Meryl's not coming? Is 
shit, she has that Sears robe on. Damn. Damn. We will be traveling south through the hinterlands to the ruin of Ostagar, on the edges of the Korkari Wilds. The Devinter Imperium built Ostagar, Ostagar huh? long ago to prevent the Wilders from invading the northern lowlands. Oh, it's that's fitting Devinter we make Imperium. our stand here, even if we face a different foe within that forest. Let me put the this king's away. forces have clashed with the Darkspawn several times, but here is where the bulk of the Horde will show itself. There are only a few Grey Wardens within Ferelden at the moment. All of us are here. This blight must be stopped here and now. If it spreads to the north, Ferelden will fall. Oh, there, Duncan. King Caelan. I didn't expect a, I don't know why it's a royal true, welcome. It's so damn hot out. I was beginning to worry you'd miss all the fun. Oh, Not if Caelan. I could help it, Your Majesty. Then I'll have the mighty Duncan at my side in battle after all. Glorious. The other wardens told oh, me you'd yes. found a promising he recruit. I take it this is she? Glory's overrated. Allow me to introduce you, Your Majesty. There's no need to be so formal, Duncan. We'll be shedding blood together after all. Ho there, friend. Might I know your name? I am Mazaquir. Pleased to meet you. The Grey Wardens are desperate to bolster their numbers, and I, for one, am glad to help them. You are Dalish, are you not? I hear your people possess remarkable skill and honor. Too bad the same can't be said of yours, Usha. I thought humans considered us dangerous vagrants. To be fair, your people can be a bit standoffish. Not that I blame them, of course. I tell you this, you are very welcome here. The Grey Wardens will benefit greatly with you amongst them. Great. I'm sorry to cut this short, but I should return to my tent. Loghain waits eagerly to bore me with his strategies. Your uncle sends his greetings and reminds you that Redcliffe forces could be here in less than a week. <laughs> Eamon just wants in on the glory. We've won three battles against these monsters, and tomorrow should be no different. Well... I didn't realize things were going so well. I'm not even so sure up. this is a true blight. There are plenty of darkspawn on the field, but alas, we've seen no sign of an archdeem. Disappointed, Your Majesty? I'd hoped for a war like in the tales. A king riding with the fabled Grey Wardens against a tainted god. But I suppose this will have to do. Tainted gods. Well, I must go before Loghain sends out a search party. Farewell, Grey Wardens. Let's close all these. The dark spawn here. You don't sound very reassured. Despite the victory I don't have so a doggo. Far, the Darkspawn horde grows larger with each passing day. By now, they look to outnumber us. <sighs> I know there is an arch demon behind this, but I cannot ask the king to act solely on my feeling. Hmm. Maybe we should move quickly. Yes, we should proceed with the ritual. Hot meal might be nice first. <laughs> I agree. We have until nightfall to begin the ritual. Every recruit must go through a secret ritual we call the joining in order to become a Grey Warden. The joining is what will cure you of the suffering your tainted blood surely brings you. If Ew. it had been possible, Ew. I would have done it before now. Mm, all right, what do you need me to do? Feel free to explore the camp here as you wish. All I ask is that you do not leave it for the time being. Okay. There is another Grey Warden in the camp by the name of Alistair. When you're ready, seek him out and tell him it's time to summon the other recruits. Until then, I have business I must attend to. You may find me at the Grey Warden tent on the other side of this bridge, should you need to. Great, Duncan. Achievement unlocked. Great. Let's loot all this shit.
God, I feel like going back to bed. Why am I so fucking tired? Auto loot works, the helmet doesn't work. On it. Make her watch over you, my lady. Your lady? There's the Tower of Ishal. Can't go in there yet. The Tower of Ishal is off limits. The men stationed inside are securing it now. That's a pretty large room. Goes ruin. back to the time of the Tevinter Imperium. Dwarven make. That's probably why it's still standing. What is it? I think they used it once to watch for wilders coming out of the forest. Why is it off limits? By orders of Tern Logain. The tower is being secured by his men to be used during battle. I'm told they discovered some lower chambers, and they don't know how far down they go, so for now, everyone's to stay out. Lower chambers? I didn't chambers. see anything like that when I was there, but who knows? Hmm. That doesn't bode well. Make a speed your steps. Let's get a save. See about that key. Hmm. Looks like a pretty secure area. Hey, you must be the Grey Warden recruit that Duncan brought. This place I hasn't am. seen such bustle in centuries, I'll wager. Need a hand getting anywhere? I think I'm good. Thank good you. Good luck to you then. We stand here in the tower. Good folk of Perilla. And we call the kennel master has that quest. Great. Mm, this isn't good. I'd hate to waste such a promising member of the breed. Wait. You're the new warden. I could use some help. What's the problem? This is a Mabari. Smart breed and strong. His owner died in the last battle, and the poor hound swallowed darkspawn blood. I have medicine that might help, but I need him muzzled first. Why do you think I could muzzle You're him? You're a Grey Warden, or soon will be. All Wardens are immune to the darkspawn taint. The most you have to worry about is some tooth marks. I did, you know. Because I never played as an elf. And I figure if I'm achievement hunting, you know, it makes sense. Centuries ago, a mage bred them to be smart and understand what they're told. They can remember and carry out complex orders. Most valuable <laughs> dogs in the world. Trouble is, they generally imprint to one master. Reimprinting oh. them is very difficult. But without the medicine, re-imprinting won't be an issue. Will you help? I will help. Sure, could he be imprinted to me? We can try, but first we need to muzzle and medicate. He's gonna bite me. Go in the pen and let him smell you. We'll know right away if he'll respond. Let's hope this works. I'd really hate to have to put him down. Oh. Done. Now I can treat the dog properly, poor fella. Come to think of it, are you heading into the wilds anytime soon? Sure, I might be. Why? There's a particular herb I could use to improve the dog's chances. It's a flower that grows in the swamps here, if I remember. If you happen across it, I could use it. It's very distinctive, all white, with a blood red center. I can get that. 
I'll see if I can find one. Good. In the meantime, I'll begin treating our poor friend. Poor doggo. Alright, this is where I can get this guy's key. In the name of Androste, I bless you today. May you find favor in the Maker's heart. Huh. Let's see if he'll Someone give me finally one. comes and talks to the lone prisoner. I don't suppose you've come to sentence me. Sentence you? You haven't been sentenced? No. They put someone like me in a cage until someone important has time to decide what to do with me. I don't suppose you have a bit of kindness in you. All I want is food and water. They haven't fed me since I was locked up and I'm starving. Tell me why you're in there. I'm a deserter. Or so they think. I bet there's no arguing them out of it, though. Armies are funny that way. Did you desert? I wasn't deserting. I wouldn't catch someone sneaking around camp in the middle of the night. What else are you going to think? Does it matter? All I want is a bit of food and water. If you weren't deserting, why were you sneaking oh, around I the camp? I would have deserted eventually. Just not then. I was stealing, not sneaking out of the camp. I got one of those wizards drunk and took his key. It belongs to a chest they got here, full of magical treasures. In fact, I still have it. I can't use it from here, but I trade you for some food and water. There we go. They didn't find the key when you were arrested? I swallowed it. But it's uh, come back into my possession since then. He pooped so it out. He pooped it out. I'll see what I can do. Just ask my guard for his. He's still got some dinner. I saw him put it in his coat. Maybe I didn't get the key Lucky last dog. time because I didn't go you through that dialogue. Get to ride with the king while I'm left with the drudgery of guarding this deserter. They should have just hanged him. Put his head on a pike as an example. I had a chat with him, actually. Who is this prisoner exactly? They say he was recruited before the war up in Dinnerham. Probably figured he'd never have to fight if he served the king, right? Hmm. Why did he want to desert? Why does anyone want to desert? Because he thinks he's going to die and he's a bloody coward, that's why. Either that or he's been listening to a bunch of hogwash about how the darkspawn will drag you off and eat you. I mean, they kind of do, though. Are the signs always free to guard him all day? I can't just let him go, can I? The army will figure out what to do with him. Probably just waiting for someone important to make a decision. Then they'll hang him, I expect. And I can go and do something else. I had a chat with him, actually. Don't expect it was an enlightening conversation. Claims he wasn't deserting. What a surprise. Another innocent prisoner. At any rate, it's not for me to say. He'll get his day to plead his case, or he won't. It's all the same to me. He asked for some food and water. Did he now? Since nobody sends me nothing to feed him with, the only way we'll get that is if I give him mine. So you miss one meal. All we'll right, be hanged all soon. Right. I guess the poor fella could stand to have one meal in his belly before he hangs. Mm -hmm. Don't know why you care. I had nothing to do with it, though. If anyone asks why he's burping, I'm going to say it was you. Just so you know. Okay. So? Brought me some food of you? I'm so hungry I could faint dead away. Don't do that. Here's some food. Much obliged. May Andraste herself rain blessings upon you. And, as I mentioned, here's the key. Use it in good health, huh? Great. I will use it in good health. Oh, here's Jory. Greetings. You must be the third recruit we've heard about. The, um, what? Yes, I'm Mazakir. Sir Jory is my name. 
I hailed from Redcliffe, where I served as knight under the command of Arl Eamon. I wasn't aware elves could join the Grey Wardens. Those camps in the valley are all human. What's that supposed to mean? Just that in some places, elves are not always permitted in the military. I hope we're both lucky enough to eventually join the Wardens. Is it not thrilling to be given that chance? So thrilling. I wouldn't be here if I had a choice in the manner. Mm. Well, I'm looking forward I to it. I fought hard to get here. Impressing Duncan was not easy. Tell me, has anyone told you what this joining ritual entails? Nope. It's all a big secret, apparently. I never heard of such a ritual. I had no idea there were more tests after getting recruited. I suppose since you're finally here, I'd best get back to Duncan. I shall see you there. Great. You may not want to remain here long, Warden. Most of these men have been tainted by the docks. You. You need to convince them. We've got to run. The dark spawn are coming. They are. There are grave wardens here, you know. Why do you say that? I saw them. We're gonna die. I apologize, Warden. Else. Ah, well, what's, uh, is it possible he has important information? The commander who brought him here didn't seem to think so. The commanders you, can be dumb. You can feel it, can't you? They take the land, turn it black and sick. Oh, you can feel it inside. Mm. They'll come out Ice of the forest tea. and spread. Like caterpillars covering a tree. They'll swallow us whole. Uh, that's quite enough out of you. You need to calm yourself, my good man. They were everywhere. I saw them. Like Mama Murphy? I seen it. Let's go over here. Life is fleeting, you know. That pretty face could oh, be decorating it. some dark spawn spear this time tomorrow. Shall I take that quiet glare as a no? Oh, well, too bad. <laughs> well, you're not what I thought you'd be. What do you think I'd be? Not an elf. Yep, here you are. The name's Dabbeth. <laughs> it's about bloody time you came along. Am I going to get these snarky to comments this all the time? Just for our benefit. Maybe they did. Just to give us a good scare. No, they don't really seem the type. I happened to be sneaking around camp last night, see, and I heard a couple of Grey Wardens talking. So, so there's a lot more Grey a Wardens? I'm thinking they plan to send us into the wilds. Maybe they will. It's all too secretive for me. It makes my nose twitch. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Oh, we can't have a twitchy like nose, a huh? Looking forward to it. <laughs> you sound just like the bloody knight. Well, more power to you. Anyway, I expect it's time to get back to Duncan. That's where I'll be if you need me for anything. Bye, dude. Ooh. Okay, I'm quartermaster. Where's my armor? And why are you dressed so preposterously? Because I'm here to be a Grey Warden. Why, how dare you dress me so? What? Oh, uh... You're the one who arrived with the Grey Warden. Yep. I, uh, please, forgive my rudeness. There are so many elves running about, and I've been waiting for... Uh, it's simply been so hectic. Uh, I never thought... But please, pardon my terrible manners. I, uh, I'm just rude. a cool master, a simple man. No one special. Rude, rude, rude. Perhaps you should treat your servants more kindly. Yeah, yes, of course, you're very right. Uh, did you come for some supplies, perhaps? What kind of supplies do you have? Arms and armor, for the most part. It's for the king's men, but uh, you Grey Wardens can buy what you need for a modest price. I also have some uh, goods on the side I can provide. Strictly off the record, of course, to keep morale up. Off right the record, stand. goods. <laughs> Let me see what uh, your other so goods. As long as you keep it quiet. 
bombs and shit. for dexterity for that one. The keeper's ring. Shit, I should put that on, huh? Gifts for dog. Alright, that one's working. council area. I'd like to learn more about the Tevinter. I'm sorry, but there's so much to do before the battle. elves could join I'm the Grey Wardens. Can he switch? Don't try to steal. Just between you and me. Hail to you, Grey Warden. Go here. What is it now? Haven't Grey Wardens asked more than enough of the Circle? I simply came to deliver a message from the revered mother, Sir Mage. She desires your presence. What her reverence desires is of no concern to me. I am busy helping the Grey Wardens by the King's orders, I might add. Wow. Should I have asked her to write a note? Tell her I will not be harassed in this manner. Harass? Yes, I was harassing you by delivering a message. Your glibness does you no credit. Here I thought we were getting along so well. I was even going to name one of my children after you. The Grumpy One. Enough. I will speak to the woman Alistair if I must. Alistair cracks me up. Get out of my way, fool. You know, one good thing about the plight is how it brings people together. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're a very strange human. Oh, I know exactly what you mean. It's like a party. We could all stand in a circle and hold hands. That would give the Darkspawn something to think about. Wait, we haven't met, have we? I don't suppose you happen to be another mage. I feel yucky. Ugh. You must be Alistair. And that makes you Duncan's new recruit, I suppose. Glad to meet you. As the junior member of the Order, I'll be accompanying you when you prepare for the joining. Mm -mm -mm. Pleased to meet you, I am Master Right, Claire. that was the name. You know, it just occurred to me that there have never been many women in the Grey Wardens. I wonder why that is. more women in the wardens, do you? Probably because we're too smart for you. True, but if you're here, what does that make you? Just one of the boys. Ouch. Anyhow, whenever you're ready, let's get back to Duncan. I imagine he's eager to get things started. As am I. What was that argument about? With the mage. The circle is here at the king's request, and the Chantry doesn't like that one bit. They just love letting mages know how unwelcome they are, which puts me in a bit of an awkward position. I was once a Templar. What's a Templar? You don't know? Quick version, then. The Chantry tries to control mages because they're dangerous. So they keep Templars that train to hunt down and kill apostates. That's what I was being trained as when Duncan Oof. recruited me six months ago. 
I'm sure the revered mother meant it as an insult, sending me as her messenger. And the mage picked right up on that. I never would have agreed to deliver it, but Duncan says we're all to cooperate and get along. Apparently they didn't oh, get Duncan. the same speech. They did not. Okay, what about the other recruits? Zabeth and Sir Jory are here in the camp. Have you met them? I have. Both of them. That makes things easy then. They'll both be back with Duncan by now. Let's go. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, lead on. All right, we have an Alistair. He's always been one of my favorites. Talk to Duncan. Oops. We'll make this as quick as possible. You found Alistair, did you? Good. I'll assume you're ready to begin preparation. I sure oh, am. You're quite finished riling up mages, Alistair. What can I say? The revered mother ambushed me. The way she wields guilt, they should stick her in the army. She forced you to sass the mage, did she? We cannot afford to antagonize anyone, Alistair. He did sass. You don't need to give anyone he? more ammunition against us. You're right, Duncan. I apologize. Now then, since you're all here, we can begin. You four will be heading into the Kokari Wilds to perform two tasks. The first is to obtain three vials of darkspawn blood. Okay. One for each recruit. And the second? That was once a Grey Warden archive in the wilds, abandoned long ago when we could no longer afford to maintain such remote outposts. It has recently come to our attention that some scrolls have been left behind, magically sealed to protect them. Alistair, I want you to retrieve these scrolls if you can. Find the archive and three files of blood, understood. The scrolls contain treaties promising support, treaties that may prove valuable in the days to come. Watch over your charges, Alistair. Return quickly and safely. We will. Then may we the can do that. Watch over your path. Let's go. I will see you when you return. You there, Elf. What's your name? Uh, it, it, it's Pick, sir. Go tell Turn Logan that the war party's ready to begin scouting. Right away, sir. I have another level. Nope, still level three. This should be easy enough. Hail. I'm told you all have business in the wilds. The gate's open for you. Just be careful out there. Even a Grey Warden won't be safe in the forest tonight. Well, that's reassuring. Gotta find the chess and trail markers too. Right. It's either you or me, and it isn't gonna be me. On it. I guess we can stick to the archer way of life for this character. It's either you or me, and it isn't gonna be me. I wonder if um, experience points is distributed again around the whole group. Certainly better at combat now. Right. Right, let me not forget to sell all these wolf pelts this time. There's missionary rugby. Jogby. journal. Do I? I want the codex. Okay, 
St. Frank's, quest related. Jogby and Rigby. So he went out here, came out here looking for his daddy, yo. Scouting band was attacked Ooh. by Darkspawn. They came out of the ground. Please help me. I've got to return to camp. When the time is, let's go. We can take you back. Let's patch him up. I have bandages in my pack. Thank you. Ooh. I've got to get out of here. Poor bastard. Did you hear? An entire patrol of seasoned men killed by Darkspawn. Calm down, Sir Jory. We'll be fine if we're careful. Oh, Jory. Those soldiers were careful, and they were still overwhelmed. How many Darkspawn can the four of us slay? A dozen? A hundred? There's an entire army in the A hundred forests. sounds a lot. There are darkspawn about, but we're in no danger of walking into the bulk of the horde. How do you know? I'm not a coward, but this is foolish and reckless. Are you sure you're not we should a go coward? Back. Overcoming these dangers is part of our test. That's true. Know this. All Grey Wardens can sense darkspawn. Whatever their cunning, I guarantee they won't take us by surprise. That's why I'm here. You see, Sir Knight, we might die. But we'll be warned about it first. That is reassuring. <laughs> that doesn't mean I'm here to make this easy, however. So let's get a move on. There's that flower. And no warning, even though there's literally dark spawn standing right there. Just me, or do you actually think you have a chance? Let's make this quick, shall we? Only one just stand. They're all just gonna let me take these arrows, huh? That's fine. I guess that's all the experience for me. Let's make this quick, shall we? <laughs> You're getting sloppy. Got him. Got him. Great. There's a vial of blood. There's some out fruit over there that I missed. Ooh, more of them. I can't. On your guard. Let's get started. It's either you or me, and it isn't gonna be me. Get this guy. As you wish. 
a lot of dark spawn blood that we're finding here. On it. All right, this is where we can find the chats and trail signs. Now that I found that note. This should be easy enough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's this? Wow. Less fighting, more dying, blast you! use a respect thing once I get a chance. Oof. I think I'm gonna, um, probably cut the stream and go to bed because I'm really falling asleep here. It's not cute. But they jumped up out of the ground. Oh, I got to level four. Great. Combat training, great. Should have known. Mm. So, yes, I love y'all, but I have to turn this stream off. And I'm just gonna get ready for bed. I'll probably, maybe I'll play a little bit more, but I'm gonna go to bed. Take a shower and go to bed. Thank you all for hanging out, and I'll see you real soon. <laughs>